So this is uh, the Elvira spectrometer box that you are going to receive. Um, you start to open. So we start with the usual unpacking. Okay. Okay. So inside the box you will find that this is uh, basically uh, the scanner for uh, works on a paper. That is uh, all the, the the items to mount it. This also is the scanner for works on paper. This is the tripod adapter. So if you want to mount Elvira the spectrometer over uh, a tripod, so we put over here. And the last piece on the bottom is the actual spectrometer. Okay, so to take it out, I need to put it on the floor. you're gonna find this one so I just lift it from uh, the box okay we open one two and three okay inside you find uh, these are glasses to protect your eyes while working with the laser. So the, remember, this is a laser 363-532 uh, nanometer. It's a green laser. It's could be strong depending on the power you supply. Always wear glasses. It's much better. Or uh, once you are very familiar, maybe you can avoid to use them. But really, be careful for your eyes. So wear these eyes, these glasses for protection, and we put over there. Okay. So this one, this box is the uh, power supply for the laser we just put over here uh, then uh, here we have just the uh, cables we have another cable and this one is the actual spectrometer okay so we can just grab it and we put on the table okay so there is nothing else inside so we can put this one on the ground okay so now we have the spectrometer let's uh, put it over here in this uh, position so from the spectrometer these are the cable coming from here okay so let's start to understand what these cable are so first of all you find um, an a USB cable which has a switch. So this one is uh, for the lighting that is uh, over here to basically lit uh, the sample. So USB cable with switch is uh, the light. Then we have another USB cable. This uh, uh, one is uh, this uh, kind of a color, it's um, white color this goes into the computer where we're going to install the software this one is uh, uh, the power supply for the laser and its controller so this cable goes here in the front so it's pretty easy it can go just in one way okay and there it is Then we have this other cable, this one is an USB black without any switch. This one is the cable of the, <coughs> of the camera inside the spectrometer so you can take picture of the areas that you are actually um, uh, analyzing. Okay, so this one will go into the computer. Okay. So we put the cable over here. Now we are ready, basically. And ah, okay, this one also is the cable, the power supply uh, for the um, is the cable of this uh, power supply. So we open it. And it goes over here on the back. Okay. 
Le release Ok, and then inside here we have another power supply Ok, this one So, over here there are the different kind of uh, plugs for different countries So, now we are in Italy, so we take the EU so you just uh, to insert them you just put over here the front then you press and there it is so now the power supply is uh, for you when uh, you need to change it just press uh, over here on the bottom and replace with uh, any one english um, uk us okay let's we are in italy now for this demonstration so we have the power supply this power supply is for the cooling system, so basically for uh, this fan over here. Okay. So we put this one here. And uh, the power supply, so the plug is on the back. Okay, over here, see, there is the plug for the power supply okay so now the system basically we just need uh, to have a computer we're gonna put it uh, uh, in this direction over here okay let's take the computer we brought the laptop so over here uh, we have a, a power supply uh, so first of all we plug the power for the laser so there it goes we can check if uh, the power supply is on just click this one okay it's, it's charging we can turn it off for the moment uh, then uh, what we do is uh, we start to connect the cable to the computer so again this is the cable with a switch for the lamp so it, got, it goes in one of these uh, USB ports and uh, we can actually check let's put it so we can see all all the equipment working okay like, like this on the front okay so this is the lamp so from the switch we can uh, turn it on and off okay let's uh, put it off for the moment uh, then we have to connect uh, the, uh, the, the grey uh, USB cable that is the controller for the spectrometer. So it goes onto the computer, USB port, we have another one over here. Okay, there we go. Um, since uh, we have connected now the USB port of the spectrometer, we can start the software of the spectrometer itself. Um, so we go here on the website okay so we go on uh, our website and uh, um, you find the software going into training programs online courses and then from the menu you choose a course Raman spectroscopy with Elvira uh, so you are granted access to the course there we are and uh, from here you see software and downloads so here you find the material uh, there is this uh, Elvira software just click over here and you download a zip folder containing the software so it should be here on the desktop there it is so uh, we unzip this folder so i go here extract all okay extract all on the fold on the on the desktop okay let's delete this one okay so this is the unzipped folder we double click on it we open it and uh, you see this uh, folder basically contains uh, all this uh, file uh, we need uh, to click uh, on the only executable file that is here 
So the executable is called Elvira and it is elvira.eexe, exe file, executable file. So this software does not require any installation. You just click the executable and the software starts. Um, okay, so double click. Okay, so here Windows says that uh, it doesn't recognize it. Okay, so we have to go run anyway. Okay, and there it is. Okay, when the system is connected at the beginning, you're going to see this kind of curve, sinusoidal curve. Um, this means that the system is connected and the system is recognized, so it's, it's fine. Uh, first of all, we click on Run. We check this Run box over here. Okay, so we see here there are some measurements. So we will go in details into this, but uh, so far what we can tell is that the system is recognized uh, by the software installed on, uh, on this computer and everything is uh, fine so far. Okay, let's uh, continue to install, uh, to, to plug the other cable. So remember this one uh, is the cable, there is another USB cable, this one that comes from here. This one uh, doesn't have any switch and this one is the camera. So we find a place where to plug it. So we have three. Uh, okay, and then uh, the last things to plug uh, is the power uh, for uh, the cooling system. So remember we had this one, so we can uh, put it over here. And you will hear the fan over here will start to or, uh, to run. Okay, so far so good. We have everything set up. Uh, and uh, basically now the system is uh, working and the next things to do is the calibration and the first measurement, basically to be sure that the system is uh, operating as it's supposed to be. Okay, 